Hello everyone and welcome back to 4FS Gaming. Today we are going to talk about the elephant gun in the room, the Nitro Express. This particular piece of gear has had a tumultuous history. It was once the king of the bayou, capable of wiping teams in seconds from 80 meters away. For a long time now, it's been a niche weapon, hit with nerf after nerf, but still undeniably powerful in the right hands. In this video, we are going to make those hands your hands. We're going to look at the hit location modifiers, range curves, and other base stats of the Nitro, and then we are going to investigate its strengths and limitations. We can discuss some tactics and tips that will make you worthy of wielding this beastly yet cumbersome rifle. Warning, there will be graphs. So the store paints a pretty nice picture of the Nitro Express. 364 damage with 250 meters effective range, insane rate of fire of 60 rounds per minute, and a respectable muzzle velocity of 550 meters per second. It makes it look like the Nitro is a solid upgrade to the Mosin, with similar stats, smaller ammo capacity, but a far, far greater damage potential. Unfortunately, as with most weapons in the store, the stats are painfully bad at showing you how this weapon actually handles, especially when it comes to range. The effective range of the Nitro is 250 meters, but that just means that it can kill with a headshot up to 250 meters. The damage fall off for body is very different. Now if I plug in all of those numbers for the body hit locations and the range fall off curve, we end up with this graph here, which shows the Nitro damage at various ranges. I have omitted headshots because we know that these will be lethal up to 250 meters. We can see that the Nitro's damage is on the left, the range is at the bottom, and the green line represents a full health hunter. More so than any other rifle, this curve is steep. The Nitro loses damage extremely quickly, and after 42 meters, the Nitro is doing less than 150 damage to the body, losing the ability to one-tap that hit location. You might notice that I have not separated this into upper and lower torso hit locations as I would with other weapons, and this is because the Nitro has the same modifier for both. It doesn't matter if you strike the gut or the sternum, this weapon will behave identically. Limb hits become increasingly problematic. With a shot to the leg, you're only going to deal 140 damage. So let's quickly compare this gun to the Mosin, which is kind of the gold standard for rifles in Hunt. An upper chest hit with the Nitro does especially well until just under 50 meters, and then the very gentle curve of the Mosin comes into play, and the two weapons deal comparable damage from there on. Things change slightly if we consider the lower torso hits, as the Mosin loses damage here and the Nitro stays exactly the same, but even then the damage is similar after 70 meters. So what range can you reliably one-shot enemy hunters? Well, there are three different ranges to be aware of. There is the effective range, not shown here, but that's 250 meters, and that's where a headshot will kill. Then you have the Nitro's true range of 42 meters. This is where a hit anywhere on the body will instantly kill. And then we have the reliable range of 16 meters. At this range, even arm shots will kill a full health hunter, and hitting the leg, unfortunately, will never be instantly lethal, as that will deal a maximum of 140 damage. Now that we know how the Nitro works, let's look at its strengths and limitations. We'll start with the good news, and that is power. The ability to insta-kill body shot up to 42 meters is extremely strong, no doubt about it, but this means that you're going to beat most shotguns in their effective range, and you can then dominate compound fights with an extremely intimidating weapon. The second perk that the Nitro has is that headshot range, which is a more recent addition. Even though shooting the Nitro past targets of 50 meters is mostly a waste of ammo, just having the option to strike a stationary target sitting 150 meters away is quite helpful. Then we have penetration. The Nitro cuts through cover like butter, and it loses almost no damage when passing through objects. It is even possible to get collateral kills against enemy hunters. It's very rare, but it would make you very cool. The Nitro only gets two shots before reloading, but those shots can be fired rapidly, so a target that was just out of range of your one-tap can be followed up on swiftly. The lack of a bolting or levering animation means you can swiftly wipe out a group of duos with no downtime at all. This is probably that one weapon that if I'm running ahead of my team and I say, oh, hunters, I see a duo, or I see a trio, 
I can kill them both before my enemy team even gets eyes on. If you're in a good position, it's just that quick. Finally, the Nitro is a psychological weapon in and of itself. People are scared of its one-tap potential, and as such, they'll play scared. And scared prey is easy prey. Something that I do really like about the Nitro is its symmetry, because for each of these powerful advantages, it has a limitation that keeps it in check. The balance on that insane one-tap potential are threefold. You have low limb damage modifiers that will punish if you hit the arms, and even more so for hitting legs. There's nothing more frustrating than expecting a hunter to die in one hit, and then they don't. Then we have the brutal range curve. If you use this weapon beyond 50 meters, it really handicaps you. You need to get close or go home. Trying to snipe with the Nitro is a truly ineffective use of this fantastic weapon. The sight itself, an aperture sight that cannot be flipped down, is a balancing mechanism. This is an atrocious sight that cuts down your field of view, obscures your target, and blurs your surroundings. It takes practice to use, and even then it makes it hard to survey areas when approaching with this weapon out. The problems with the Nitro don't stop there. Of course, the weapon uses special ammo, and it only comes with six shots in total. The ammo limitation forces you to place your shots very carefully, or risk spending lengths of time scrounging around the map for rare ammo. The recoil is also severe, so although it can fire very quickly, the maximum rate of fire of the Nitro is almost unusable. No, I'll say it, it's unusable, because you have to recenter so much again before firing. And lastly, despite the sound of the Nitro being utterly terrifying, it is very distinctive. Distinctive enough that any skilled player that hears it will adjust their playstyle accordingly. And after firing it on the map, expect people to avoid getting within 50 meters of you, so pushing becomes more difficult. Let's look at some tactics to overcome these weaknesses and play into the Nitro's strengths. Just like any weapon that shines at close range, positioning and movement is critical to close distance, flank, and hit targets within your effective range. Instead of shooting from a bad position, take that time to identify the safest route forward and push. The Nitro rewards pushing targets to finish the fight quickly. You do not want drawn out engagements with this rifle, you just don't have the ammo for it. Aggressive play is almost mandated to make the most of its cover breaching single shot potential. You need to find that distance and close in for the kill. Letting your targets rotate out of your kill range over and over will leave you low on ammo and poorly positioned. Now let's address that aperture sight. Yeah, it's bad, but you can work with it. To be honest, the best players with the Nitro hardly even look down that sight at all. Just like when using Quick Switch, you need to aim at your target before the sight even comes up, and shoot as soon as your crosshair disappears so that bullet goes dead center. Using this method, you can strike very quickly without being at all obstructed by the sight. Of course, it takes a lot of practice, but it's well worth it. As for ammunition, there are plenty of tips for keeping a healthy supply of spare shots. Taking an ammo box is a great idea with this weapon, and once you have killed a team, you can use that ammo box, drop your nitro, get your partner to pick up the nitro, and then they take the box too, and then switch the nitro back to you, and you can get a lot of ammo back very easily, before even looting a new consumable off those bodies. When searching for special ammo within compounds, I have a theory that each compound has either three or zero boxes of special ammo. They seem to spawn in threes, or not at all. So if you find special ammo, expect to find at least two more boxes lying around in the same compound. The exception of course is large two clue compounds in which I found up to six special boxes in the past. So if you haven't given it a go, try out the Nitro Express. Once you get used to the sight, it is a highly capable firearm, and that infamous slap of death is incredibly satisfying to kill with. This is a team white machine, and although it is riddled with drawbacks, it still remains a competitive if niche alternative to some other weapons. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to stay up to date. You can also catch me streaming some hunt over on my Twitch channel, which is linked in the description. Thank you to our awesome Patreon supporters, and also to you guys for watching. This is Ascendance from 4FS Gaming.